All right, our last thing is to take a look at the media queries. Um, let's consider that this site, where is it? Let me get to it. Let's consider that this site was being viewed on a phone. So we've got some great uh, responsive layout here. But the truth is, this might be about the width of an iPad, maybe, or a tablet. But once you get down to phone sizes, this is very awkward. It's not easy. There's some big gaps here. This is too tiny. That could be hard to read. Who knows? So what we need to do is play with some media queries. Let's just look at the inspector so I can show you one quick thing about it. Um, I'll pull this out. So in the new inspector, you have this button here. And what this does is it shows you some different widths up here. So right now it's showing us 660. So we could have actually done that little test in the inspector instead of right on the live website. So the way we start media queries is to go to our CSS and at the foot of it, we're going to, I'll just put this in a comment, and you don't have to add this comment, but obviously I'm adding it for your purposes, and I think that most designers do add media queries. All right, so the standard format for a media query is at media screen and and then in parentheses you type your parameters here so I'll type max width it's common in this lesson right and I'm gonna say 700 although I noticed on my inspector that uh, what was it that they put 690 so 700 is standard, 690 might even be more standard. So now you then get your curly brackets into which we will put some brand new CSS rules. So I'll put a little space here. So what do we need to do? We need to, uh, what do we need to do? Let me just close this so we can take a quick look at it all. We need to make a single column out of these two columns instead of floating them. And we need to make the images, all of the images, 100% of whatever width our single column is. These also need to not float. So rather than the, let's see, what are the images? Um, so the images are called figure in the uh, HTML. And they are all given a width of 200 px. So that's something we'll have to consider. So right now, the floating columns are the sidebar. Let's see, where is it? Right there. We have a sidebar that's floating. And it floats beside the content. So that's an important thing to know. So let's go down to our media query and type. Sidebar, oh, this is a pound, right? Because it's a div. And content. And now I'm putting another set of curly brackets. So you understand here, whoops. You understand here, we have an outer set of curly brackets. And then it's the parent of these inner rules. And I'm just going to say float none. How about that? It's that easy. Let me do a save and scooch over to this. So as you can see, when I take this down, once we hit the 700 mark and boop, none. So there's a few problems with this and I would say they are things like, I would like for this to use up the whole space instead of be scrunched into what it used to be. And I would like these images and this text to take up the whole space. So I'm going to add one more rule down here. Pardon me. W-I-D-T-H. Width. 
100% because that's what we want. We want these to take up 100% of the width of the 700 px that we've named it a standard to be. So I'll save this, go back to that, and refresh. So now, whoops, let's look at that up there. Now these are stretching out a little bit. They can't stretch out much. I mean, some of these are short, but if they were longer, they would show up. And now I still have to deal with those images. I will look for these selectors, content figure odd, that's a float right, and a content figure even is a float left. So I need to add these. I'll just actually copy it, content figure odd. And I'm going to use my same selector here. So I'll just put commas because these are multiple selectors. And I copied that twice, and I'll just type even here. Let's do a save and take a look at it. So now it is doing exactly what I asked it to do. And there's a few cumbersome things here in this, which I can fix in a f another video if you're interested in fixing it, but you've got the concept now. What I'd like to fix is look at this weird gap. I don't like that. It's here and look here, they're jumping out of their containers a little bit. There's some sort of margin or padding. I'm just gonna fix it and I'll do that in a separate video for those of you who are finished looking at these weird cats, all right?